All right, we got to talk about the situation regarding Manchester United and the captaincy. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, Harry Maguire was arrested after he got in a fight, a drunken fight, and just, uh, I believe, tried to run away from the police in a Greek island. And, uh, of course, I mean, these things happen, I guess. Uh, but just what do you expect from a captain? More, more or less, excuse me, a Manchester United captain. You view figures such as Roy Keane, uh, who really just led and Gary Neville who led the club in terms of being very professional and serious and uh, just a, an example a, a character and I mean when we talk about Roy Keane and Gary Neville there's very very uh, a lead by example type of people Gary Neville working just very very hard on the pitch Roy Keane just a solid player and really drills you into you know doing well at the club and I think that it's a time to rethink about why exactly you would give Harry Maguire the captaincy. Um, Harry Maguire, I think he does get a lot more flack than he should be given, but after this incident, I don't think you should want that as your captain, uh, want Harry Maguire as your captain when he does these type of actions. Of course, uh, I think Bruno Fernandes does deserve it. I mean... I'd say Bruno Fernandez just because of what he's doing um, at the club. I think Bruno Fernandez, what he inst instills in uh, the players of Manchester United, is worthy of a captaincy. I think that Harry Maguire, uh, he under uh, Manchester United, he did lead them to a top four, which is what they ex are happy about now and what they're uh, joyous to hear. But what Bruno Fernandes is trying to push the team towards and the, the improvement that he's put in and how he actually drives some of the player. I mean, for example, when uh, they conceded against Sevilla, uh, Bruno Fernandes went at Victor Lindelof because Lindelof's, it was Lindelof's fault for not, you know, stopping uh, Yuri de Jong, I believe, in uh, scoring. And, of course, Bruno Fernandes told them that. And that's exactly what you need to do. They need a, a uh, your teammate needs to understand that it's their fault for <laughs> conceding that goal. And that's what he did, and that's what you need to see in a captain. And if I'm going to be honest, I mean, Harry Maguire doesn't and hasn't been looking like a uh, key figure of leadership and just overall um, guidance for some of those younger players. And I think... He's not even that old himself in that experience, I'd say. I mean, he's only 26, I believe. But more importantly, Bruno Fernandes, I mean, he's not that old himself either, but his, the way he carries himself, the, how he's professional, and uh, how he still pushes himself to more to come. I mean, he's been compared to Eric Cantona, but he says he needs to be far better. I mean, that's what you expect from a player that you want at Manchester United. And I think that he definitely needs to be considered for the captaincy, or if not, the vice captaincy, and slowly integrate him. And if he continues to perform and uh, pushes uh, himself and the other players alike, then he needs to be slowly integrated to that captaincy role.